I bought a microscope. Turns out I have spider mites on the first plant I used it on. <laughs> Adenia glauca. So now started taking everything out of my room. All of my plants on this side of the room touch each other. Not all of them have signs of spider mites, but I'm just preempt preemptively treating them. I just sprayed them down with dish soap and water for right now. Like I'm going to treat them so deeply. So I guess that's what this week has turned into. This is the microscope I got. Um, let's turn it on. Join the Wi-Fi and there's the, then there's an app that goes with it. You turn this thing from one side or the other to focus it. Ooh. It's really, really cool. I think it was like $30. The microscope ruined my life, but also saved it because I would have never known about spider mites, but ruined it because I would have never known about spider mites. I feel itchy. I ran out of space in my bathroom, so I'm going to put everything else into my kid's bathroom or like my guest bathroom. So this one is in this pot that I can't get wet, otherwise it'll mold. So I'm just gonna have to like take out the whole root ball and do my best to not, wow, look at those roots. They look awesome. To not like destroy it as I spray it. And then I'll just set it in the tub to dry. Hopefully we're good. I decided to spray off all the plants in this bathroom too just because why not? And once everything on this side of the house is treated, I'll probably start working in like the main living area, but it definitely all needs to be treated. I like don't even wanna risk it. It's not worth it. I'm just gonna knock it out. So it's not a problem down the road, hopefully. All the rest I'm going to be doing the rest of the day is wiping down, let me grab it, wiping down every surface in this room and all of the saucers, cover pots, everything like that. I need to make sure that I kill every last spider mite and this is going to kill every last spider mite. So long as I do a thorough job of wiping down surfaces, that's the next step. Where I'm at right now, all of my plants out of my bedroom and two bathrooms actually have been sprayed down with dish soap and water mixture. It dried overnight and then I just finished, well, I'm finishing the last few right now in the shower. I just really, really wanna nip this spider mite issue in the bud, I'm trying to just go all out to get it taken care of, especially because I'm going out of town and I don't want to be stressed about this situation at home while I'm gone. I wanna feel like I have it pretty well under control, you know? So I'm just really trying to like, so it can be out of me brain. Where was I going with that? I don't know. <laughs> But this is actually going to be the first time I take down this Hartley philodendron, which is kind of sad because it was like growing up the wall. Oh, that is so beautiful. Oh, I totally forgot about this. The plant is like growing on it. Oh my gosh. There we go. This is so dusty. I've been meaning to pull this plant down for a long time. I just haven't. <sighs> Look at how, I can't believe how dusty this has gotten. That is bad. Oh my gosh, this plant is gonna look so fresh after this.
Here is a little update of my room. So I did wash the curtains and all the bedding. A couple of things I wanna talk about. So how I recommend doing it is starting in like one corner. Move the plants that you can fit out of that section into your area that you're gonna be spraying them down. Make sure you move all of the plants out of that section. And then I would clean that corner really well and spray down all of those plants, let them dry. Once they're dried, I'll go ahead and move them back so that I can move on to like the next section. Treating pests is something, it's not really like a one and done thing most of the time, especially spider mites. It's a lot easier to manage if you are doing like a super thorough job like that and wiping down surfaces as you clean the plants, you know? And the thing about spider mites that really sucks is like you can't use like bonide systemic granules won't actually kill spider mites. So you can't just sprinkle that onto the soil and call it good like you can for like thrip or anything like that. It is something you have to like wash the plants with something to get the bugs off, like kill the actual bugs. Neem oil does kind of work, but more as a preventative, not necessarily to treat like a currently happening infestation. Yeah, I'm done dealing with this situation today. I'm feeling pretty exhausted of this whole process, but fortunately I do think that we are th we are through the worst of it. At this point, let me show you what we're gonna be doing. I'm going to be treating the plants with this sulfur plant fun fungicide. That's how you say it. You add three tablespoons-ish to a gallon of water. So I added six tablespoons to my sprayer. It does settle. So you need to make sure you're like shaking it up every so often so it doesn't just all settle to the bottom. Otherwise, all the labor is going to be for nothing. I do just wanna have some sort of protection because I don't want the sulfur to be like repeatedly touching my hands. I think if, if it's like briefly, it's fine, but where I'm gonna be here spraying 100 plants, I do not want that, so. I'm just gonna wear these for a little bit of protection. I am actually going to start with all of my plants over here. <sighs> oh gosh, pump it. Okay. And then I'm just gonna spray top and bottom very, very, very thoroughly. This can burn plant roots, so be a little bit careful. Like I'm not going in super well on the tops of the soil, but I do definitely want to cover it because it will kill the spider mite eggs. Now that the sulfur is dried, I'm moving the plants out of the shower so that Ryan and I can shower and the sulfur can sit on the plants for a few days. Now I have dish soap and water back into my little pump sprayer and I'm gonna go back and very thoroughly spray off each of the plants. I'm using the dish soap and water mixture to do this because it helps get the sulfur off. I've read a few things and watched a few things saying that sulfur doesn't wash off very easily if you just like rinse it in water. So I thought I'd go over it again with the dish soap since I was going to be here doing this anyway. I didn't get very far yesterday because we had a birthday party for my dad to go to, but it is the next day and I'm still at it. Most of them from my bedroom and this bathroom have been cleaned off with the dish soap and water mixture. Left them here to dry overnight and now I'm moving them back into their spots, which is so exciting. <sighs> Feels good. The good news is that I was pretty worried that the, the um, Sulfur <laughs> wasn't gonna wash off. I've heard that a lot that it doesn't like wash off the leaves, but by going in with the dish soap and water in that pretty powerful like pump sprayer, it did wash it off most of the way. I, I, there are spots like this that still have a little bit. If there's only a little bit, it doesn't really bother me and I'll just kind of handle that as I take care of my plants. See, like it came off pretty well for most of the plants. Plants like this that didn't have a drainage hole that are just in cover pots with 
Sphagnum moss. Wow, look at those roots. They look awesome. I just made sure that I pulled the plant out of the cover pot and rinsed the roots out very, very well, as well as the container, just so I got most of the sulfur and dish soap out. And the, because the sulfur can actually like burn plant roots. So you do need to be pretty careful about that. And I definitely didn't want to risk it. Rinsed off the sphagnum moss as well as I could. Hopefully they all do okay. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to leave the sulfur on for like, a couple of weeks or as long as possible so that it has a better chance of like killing all the bugs but i don't have i don't have the time to do that right now since i'm going out of town i feel pretty good about like just leaving it on for a few days and then rinsing it off now i have i will have sprayed all these plants down twice with dish soap once with the sulfur spray so if anything survives that, like <laughs> it is a mutant. For like plants like this anthurium that are rooting in water, I'm going to take them out of, you know, the water, dump it out and clean out the jar. This one needed cleaned anyway, cause there's some algae growth. I'm making progress and I feel so relieved because this has just been such a heavy weight in my mind. Reason number one why I decided to rinse it off only after a few days. Ryan and I haven't really been able to use our bathroom. <laughs> Um, reason number two, I think I caught it very quickly before it was able to spread. I don't think that there's like an in, a super infestation issue. So it's kind of a preventative for a lot of these plants. And then number three is actually, I've heard and read that sulfur can be pretty rough on, on plants. For my more robust plants like Hoya, which are pretty tolerant and hardy and just tough in general. I don't worry so much, but I do have some plants that are a little more delicate and I didn't want to leave it on those plants for them to like shrivel up. I mean, even though, let me, let me show you one. This is the first thing that popped in my head, but there are definitely a few examples. Even though I only had it on the leaves for a few days, there is definitely some like burning happening. Kalanchoe lavender scallops, and you can see those like brown, black little specks on the leaves. It didn't have those before I treated it with the sulfur. It's not so much on this side, more so on this side. It kind of has them all over now, mostly on the more delicate new growth, like I was saying. So this is just a perfect example of why I didn't want to leave it on my plants for so long. The problem is, I the problem is I just can't remember how I had my plants situated before and I really liked how I had them set up. It's kind of bumming, bumming me out that this happened after I had like moved all my plants around. And this is definitely not how I had them. <laughs> This, the plants in this bathroom are my last ones that need to be cleaned off. So, oh my gosh, this is feeling so great. To have done for now, because like I said, I'm going to be spraying them down again when I get back from Belize. Oh, here's another plant that did not do well with the sulfur. Um, this is my ficus umbellata. And these leaves, this plant was totally fine until I sprayed it. This is one I definitely wish I had been a little more careful of and maybe not sprayed. That's something that you would only know by like actually doing the treatment, you know, which kind of sucks. So if you are wanting to treat this plant, maybe don't treat it with sulfur because it does not like it. <laughs> I hope it'll bounce back. I'm sure, I'm sure it will. It's just kind of a bummer that it started putting out new leaves and then this happened and now it's gonna have to like re-adjust, figure itself out again. Time to rinse. A 
everything has been rinsed. So I'm going to let them dry and then put them back on their spots. This feels so good. I'm so relieved. I mean, okay, don't get me wrong. I still have a ways to go because these have to dry and then I got to put everything back. The other big thing is cleaning, like deep cleaning both of my bathrooms because they are a disaster. It's worth it for my plants to be pest free and clean, right? Worth it. <laughs> I think so. So messy. My asparagus fern is another one that is doing very, very poorly after the sulfur spray. I hope it'll bounce back. If not, oh well, it is what it is. Oh my gosh, I feel so relieved. Still a little bit of a mess in my room because I have some moving around and shimmying, adjusting of plants to do, but overall I am so thrilled. <laughs> and this is by far the worst bathroom. So messy. Oh gosh, the bathtub. The bathtub is the worst. We did it! I'll keep y'all posted. I'm gonna be checking in on my plants with my little microscope, handy dandy microscope to make sure that we don't have any larvae or anything, but I have a pretty good feeling about it. I think it will work out. I'm not gonna bore you with cleaning my bathrooms. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Yeah!